Hello and welcome to the Stem Cell Healing Institute podcast. In case you have any questions regarding this program, please write us at info at stemcellhealinginstitute.com. Thank you and enjoy the podcast. Hello and welcome back to the Stem Cell Healing Institute podcast. We are here with Dr. Sarah Figueredo, and we do have a very interesting topic today. It's very trending. Let me introduce the doctor. How are you, doctor? How are you doing? I'm very well, uh, Louise. Happy to be here as usual. How are you doing today on a Friday? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm just uh, I'm yes. waiting to rest a little. Let's start the weekend, yes. Uh, after a hectic week. Yes. We're going to talk about macular degeneration. Doctor, what can you tell us about this illness? Yes. Um, thank you, Louise. It, it is a very trending topic. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of our patients and, uh, and prospective patients are uh, very keen on hearing more about how to regenerate a degenerated macula. And, and so there's a play on words sometimes, uh, Louise, because... A lot of people um, talk about it as macular regeneration. And, and that's actually what we're doing with stem cells is we're regenerating the macula after it's been degenerated from, from you know, long-term damage, exposure to the sun, you know, lifestyle, poor nutrition, and just, you know, just normal aging. And, um, and so we, we have this disease called macular degeneration, uh, which we are looking to improve upon and cure, uh, hopefully, with stem cells and, um, and with a wide variety of, uh, of tools in our arsenal because um, it's really important that when we're doing any kind of stem cell treatment, and Louise, I know you know about this really well, that we create an environment in the body to receive the stem cells in the most um, uh, effective way possible. So that the stem cells are in an environment where they can thrive. You know, if we go and throw these miraculous cells, um, vital, um, life-giving, you know, high numbers of these potent um, stem cells, the, the poor nutrition and all kinds of, you know, garbage that's floating around, what's going to happen to these stem cells? They'll just wither away. Um, they might do a, 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 their work for a little while until they're just until they wither away because they just can't withstand um, uh, the environment. This this environment that they're in, if it's not a, a clean uh, and effective environment, and and that's the case with all of our cells, right? As if we are not feeding our bodies well, if we're not sleeping well, if we're not eating well, if we have this polluted environment around us. Um, we age faster. We uh, there's more disease conditions uh, in our body and uh, a lot of havoc. And that's the same idea with uh, putting stem cells into a clean environment. So you know it's it's interesting because we get a, a lot of patients and they ask us, um, Louise. I'm going off on a little bit of a tangent, but it's it's really relevant here. Um, and they ask us, how come you guys are the only clinic that I've heard of? that does this pre-treatment protocol and this post-treatment protocol. And why don't you just do the stem cells? And, you know, and, uh, and, and our answer is, is this, is, uh, is that we have to, it's really important for the best possible results to create this environment where the stem cells can do their work in the best, uh, best way possible on the long run, in the long term. And, um, and so with macular degeneration, the reason why I started talking about this is because macular degeneration to a great extent can be preventative. And how can we prevent this? Good diet with high antioxidants, good um, digestive tract, because we can be eating the right foods and uh, you know, getting in the proper nourishment. But if we're not digesting assimilating, absorbing these nutrients. Again, this is what we see with uh, patients with macular degeneration. So we address these aspects. We address uh, overall lifestyle. We make sure there's 
stress management and you know pollution and uh, UV rays. So we always ensure our patients are wearing uh, wearing sunglasses and protecting sunglasses and protecting their eyes, and um, and just doing the as much of the right things possible to again to you know for the stem cells to be put in and then for the best long term possible results. Because if we continue you know, a dirty lifestyle and a toxic lifestyle. So we can undo a lot of the good that we uh, can accomplish with stem cells and go back in time if we don't address these aspects of our well-being uh, along with the stem cells. I see, doctor. And let's compare the stem cell treatment with whatever options are out there like uh, surgery and the big pharma options. Why are the stem cells the best option? That is a, a very good question, Louise. You know, with stem cells, we're looking to, without using the word cure, uh, but in, ve in very often terms, we are looking to uh, completely undo the damage that's been done over time. And again, with the environment and as we age, And so we are looking to regenerate uh, the eyes and the macula of the eyes uh, from all the damage that's been done. And we're not just covering up the symptoms. We're not just stopping the prog progression or, or slowing down the progression. What our goal is to, um, yes, to stop it and then to uh, repair the damage that's been done. So essentially, we want to, our goal is to restore vision. Okay, and that is entirely possible with stem cells. And, and the way that we do it um, is in a very, very safe and effective manner. We don't inject into the eye. Um, there are clinics that have done damage uh, by injecting right into the eye. We don't go there. We will inject. Uh, we have an effective uh, proprietary way of injecting the stem cells in a cocktail near the eye without going into the eye so that they get to where they need to be. Um, and so that is uh, that is super important in that we get the stem cells where they need to be. So, doctor, do you do these treatments yourself, like you place the stem cells yourself? Hmm. That You know what? We I am part of a team. I am, uh, so I am the, the director of advanced stem cell therapies. I, I do the actual stem cells. Uh, themselves and uh, but with the actual injection of the eye we call it a retrobulbar injection that is done by uh, the ophthalmologists in our team and um, they are the specialists of the eye so um, I, I like that you touched on that question because we have specialists in every field that specialize in their expertise so in this case we have an ophthalmologist that does the injection In the case of, uh, for instance, disc injections or vertebral column injections, uh, we have an orthopedic surgeon that does those injections. Um, so every uh, we have our, our team uh, that specializes in, in each of their respective uh, specialties to, do, uh, uh, to follow through with uh, specific patients. What are the benefits of the stem cells after they have been placed? Yes, you know, it, with, the, with macular degeneration, there is damage to the macula. And what we're seeing is that uh, rods and cone cells can be damaged. Um, the, the cells of the retina, the macula, uh, are damaged. And, um, and that is what is affecting vision. And so our goal is to go in there, uh, regenerate those cells, with the help of uh, the cocktail that we use, of course, with the stem cells. And then we combine that with all, all of our um, adjunctive therapies, oxygen, which is super important. In so many cases with macular degeneration, there is limited blood supply to the eye. Um, so uh, we ensure that there, the, there's oxygen coming in, uh, growth hormone, we use growth hormone and uh, age-appropriate growth hormone therapy to again sort of bring the body back in time to make it uh, uh, create again a, a youthful environment uh, so that the stem cells can really do their job in the eye. 
And then we also do a, a detox with a nutritional detox. We call it our total detox program uh, with nutrition. Again, uh, antioxidants, B vitamins, glutathione, all those great things. And uh, as well as our stem cell enhancement formula, which is uh, a proprietary blend, a very personal, personalized proprietary blend of key herbs and minerals that, again, address uh, the healing of the eye and, uh, and of the body with the stem cells. So, um, it, you know, when there's damage to a specific tissue, and I've mentioned this before, when there's damage to a specific tissue, in this case, the macula, there are specific inflammatory markers that are released from those damaged cells of the macula. And so the stem cells home in uh, on those cells. And so they know where to go, uh, especially when the stem cells are placed right there. So it's really important that we do these local injections. So in this case, the retrovulvar injection is considered a local injection. But then we also place the stem cells intravenously so that the stem cells can go everywhere the blood flows, including the eyes. And so we get, uh, you know, more bang for your buck and just uh, we leave no stones unturned, as uh, as I like to say. So we can say the stem cells can help with other issues that we have in our body. Um, That's right. By doing this yes. treatment. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Yes. So just to follow up on, on what you said, it's really, really um, uh, it, it is a very uh, comprehensive treatment, especially when we put the stem cells IV. And you're right, because every uh, where that the blood flows, including all the organs, um, uh, you know, all the different body parts, uh, they're benefiting from the stem cells as well. So. In this case, what we're going to do is stop the degeneration uh, from progressing. People are going to immediately... Start, and, start the, and start the regeneration. That's and right. And start the regeneration. How long does it take, doctor? Um, how long does the treatment take? No, so how long... We have, uh, yeah, how long does, it does the treatment take? And also, how long does it take for the patient to start feeling okay. better? To see results, very yes. good question. So, uh -huh. so the treatment itself takes seven days. We have the patient in Guatemala for seven days. Um, and, uh, and then we send the patient home with post-treatment uh, post protocol. And we, we have had patients that have seen results within days to several weeks, but our general rule of thumb is a good three months. That's, that's, you know, that's what it takes for stem cells to literally reconstruct damaged tissue. Okay. So uh, a good three months is when we can see um, really good results and it keeps going from there. Uh, but three months is, is uh, the, on, in the short term is when we can really see, uh, start seeing results. Since you mentioned that these treatments are done in Guatemala, what will we include in the whole package? Oh, that's yes. So as I mentioned, uh -huh, I know where you're get, uh, where you're going, Louis. So we we do the whole comprehensive stem cell treatment with everything that I mentioned, as well as we include uh, seven nights accommodations for the patient and a companion, as well as a personal driver to get to and from. Oh, airport tra transfers to get to and from appointments uh, and so on and so forth. So, yes, we try to make it very, very um, uh, user friendly uh, so that uh, the patient really doesn't have anything else to be concerned with or worry about uh, because everything's taken care of for them. So when a patient decides to send you an email, would you be getting this email yourself? Will you be answering the email yourself? Yes, I have uh, I have assistance, of course, but I uh, am very hands on with my patients. I, I think it's extremely important that patients get the correct information. Um, you know, this process is it can be very daunting because um, there's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, and, you know, a lot of clinics, uh, uh, you know, they have a reception and a receptionist that gets is trying to convey uh, very um, intricate medical information to the patients where I believe that it's really important uh, for patients or prospective patients to get firsthand information from the doctor. And, uh, and I do this and I also do follow-ups with patients, which is really important. Uh, I'll do, uh, at first we'll start with weekly and then monthly uh, follow-ups with patients and track their progress 
because that's that's what's important to us is uh, is seeing and making a difference in patients' lives. Okay, we also want to invite you to visit our webpage, which is stemcellhealinginstitute.com, and you will find um, a lot of information and also some testimonials of uh, previous patients. Doctor, is there anything else you would like to add to this podcast? Uh, no, I think we, we've covered a lot of ground today, Louise, and I think you ended it well with uh, the information for our listeners. All right. So there you have it, folks. In case you have uh, any questions, please send us an email, and Dr. Fiorello will be more than glad to um, reply it. Doctor, you have a wonderful evening. Thank you. You too. Have a great weekend. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. If you want to contact us at the Stem Cell Healing Institute or Dr. Sarah Figueredo, you may do it by calling us. In North America, you may dial plus one two zero nine six nine zero seven eight three six. Also, if you want to write us by WhatsApp, you may add plus five zero two four two two zero seven two nine seven. Please send us an email at info at stemcellhealinginstitute.com. And don't forget to visit our website, stemcellhealinginstitute.com. Also, if you like to recommend our treatments, you may find us on Facebook at Stem Cell Healing Institute. Please follow us on Instagram at Stem Cell HI. If you want to recommend this podcast, please refer to anchor.fm slash stem cell healing. Also, you may find us with that very same name on Spotify. If you want to watch our videos, please go to Dr. Sarah Figueredo, that is on YouTube. Thank you.